Hello there folks, Sego Starcraft back, bringing you some amateur BS replays. This is a TVT, Omniscient vs. Kleshnikov. I like the name, not a huge fan of the random capitalization thing, unless S-N-O is a really important thing to him. Kind of did a little misspelling on my such, because I've been drinking all night. Whatever. Been a little bit up and down on the ladder, some wins, some losses. Started off the day really good, bouncing around a little bit. But I recently watched a game by Dragon that I casted where he went for a really aggressive one base Terran play against another Terran. So in my mind, I kind of want to try it out. I don't know all the, the intricacies of it, but it was really, really cool. So I'm going to go and give it a try. It's about being really aggressive once again, which is where I seem to find most comfort in my play. I have a wall off on one side. I have a not wall off on the other side because I don't believe in walling off. Yeah. So how was everybody's Christmas? Mine was actually pretty good. Good times with families. I don't know if a lot of people have drama with family. Like half my family just doesn't even like each other, so it makes for really interesting Christmases. But this time it was uh, it was pretty mellow. It was pretty chill. I've become like the person that understands technology in my family, so it doesn't matter what the problem is. It could be, you know, how to get rid of a virus. To I don't know how to plug in my DVD player. Everybody seems to just call on me to help out with things. So that made it very interesting, but I did ask for a uh, a little extra favor when I did that. I went to an aunt's place for a bit of a reunion, and I finished almost a bottle of wine before I even got to work on her stereo stuff. And as payment, she gave me another bottle of wine. I essentially had a hangover for two days. For those people who have not gotten mega plastered on wine, it's not necessarily one of those things you really want to go too far out of your way to do. This SCV is going to follow me. A lot of the times I think the SCVs are attacking my SCVs. So in order to delay, I'll stop and attack for a moment. Just to buy myself another second or two maybe to get out my Marine, deny some scouting. It's interesting he's rallying his Marines to the front. It looks like his plan might be to go for some sort of early expand. Let's go see what his vision is. Well, he saw things moving over here. Could have very easily been gas. It's hard to say whether or not that's what he believes in. He does have gas down. He hasn't used it for anything. We're going to have a factory in a really funky spot. It looks like he maybe wants to be aggressive as well. That's a really weird spot to put a factory. Even a medevac with some marines can pick that off from the low ground. So I'm not the hugest fan of that play. Mine's uh, the same kind of intent, but not quite as aggressively placed. I've got marines on corners just to make sure that I've got everything covered. And I am supply blocked. So I was playing like a total drunk chump for this game. He's getting his two gases nice and early. I've just started mine because I want this to be able to help me go into a Banshee play. And here I'm uh, making emergency supply depots. But the good thing is that even though I'm supply block, it won't hurt my stop my tech very much right now because I can still build the things that I need to. Right on, hey? I thought so too. Good chunk of Marines out in the front. Maybe he was going to go for Banshees as well. It's hard to say. It looks like that was the intent. What is our worker counts at right now? He's got a good lead because he didn't get supply blocked. Lessons to people. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sometimes it's nice to have a bunker out there if you can have Marines. Got some minerals laying around. Might as well try. You can see I've got a lot more minerals to spend than he does. Simply because I suck at not being supply blocked. Factory's going to float down, and he's going to see my starport move over, and me put it in the wrong spot like a total, total first-time player. That was really funny. I was kind of embarrassed, like, please don't look. Nothing to see here. So this is going to go down, but I believe, yeah, he's going to get a raven, so he's going to play more defensive. This looks like an offensive place to get it, but because my starport went down first, it looks like he really wants to go for a more a defensive kind of play. Banshee on the way, and I'm also baking a low ground tank. It was supply block, but I'm going to cancel everything so that I can start making my tanks. Right? Pretty sure I did. Yes, there we go. Can't believe how fast I got supply block. That's what you get from making marines and banshees and tanks all at the same time. So I'm going to go take the watchtowers. This is kind of funky. I don't mind this at all. Clear that off, and I'm actually going to go for the other watchtower as well, because I don't want him to have vision of what's coming at him. 
He's already got his Raven finished, Viking on the way, so he's got the good standard defense up. So I'm going to get this as well. Nice. A couple of free SCVs, I'm alright with that. Tanks finished, moving him down. Double barracks for Marines. And I got Banshees, and my Cloak is on the way. So a good little funky mix, a little checks mix. He did come back up into his base. I scanned the front just to see if he had sieged it up. This is... I borrowed this build from Dragon, but... It's kind of got a more of a, a pressure type of a play that I got from watching a good friend of mine, Mr. Dipstick play. You might be proud to know that was the case. I'm going to rally everything to the front. Got enough minerals for another command center, so I'm going to try. Oh, almost got that raven. That killing that raven is very important to me. It's going to give me a lot of flexibility. I also need to kill this tank off. I'm willing to sacrifice a banshee to kill this tank. Does use a secret missile, but I know that a tank can eat one secret missile and still live. Raven's not dead yet. Tank's gonna get into a better position. He doesn't want his wall to get sieged up. It's very, very crappy. Let your wall get sieged up. I do have a scan ready, very happily. I lose one tank, but I will kill off his tank, and it'll allow me to actually get his supply table kills. Now, happily for him, he's built a lot of extra supply. Double Vikings out. I have more units rallied down. My next Banshee is on the way. Front has been busted. There is a tank ready now. Pretty good little siege up spot there. But now, during that, you guys may not have saw that, I did pick off his Raven. Very, very important that I grab that because he's only got one command center. He's building a second right now, but it's going to be a ways off. He's got some energy right now. And I come in with my Banshee, and you can see the energy that's on your- Oh, we cast one of his. Well, he's got one scan ready still. He did drop a mule. Now, this is the really unfortunate part. He didn't bring his Marines with him. So I'm just going to get out of range and keep going. Tank sieged up. Marines protecting the tanks. Got the mule, too. Very nice. So this Banshee's up to 10 kills. He's trying to get a Raven out, but it takes so long. Second Banshee's already in. And we're just going to start going to town here. And me Mary go to town. And at this point is when you're a Terran player and you're like, F this game. I actually started coming over to pick on the tank. I do want to break his tanks down. I'm going to run out of Cloak soon. And he leaves the game. I thought that was a pretty smooth little build. Contain, Marines, Tanks, Banshees. Cool, hey? If he kept his Raven alive, might be a different game. But he didn't. It's almost finished. But what was he down to on units? He was down to 7 SCVs to my 29 and my expansion moving over. So, I can't blame him from leaving at that point. Sego Starcraft, fun little amateur game, and we'll talk with you later.